Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Down to Earth Astronomy. We're continuing this series where we're playing Kerbal Space Program and we left off last time we just finishing a few contracts. Um, we still need to test the Mark 16 parachute and we need to go to between 3 and 6 kilometers and have a certain velocity range. Um, I want to pick up ye another contract. Uh, Escape atmosphere, I don't think we're ready for that just yet. So we can test the stacking decoupler while landed. Yeah, that's fairly easy. The flea solid rocket booster. We already tested that. The launch site. Uh, so that's pretty. Conduct survey. All these conducting surveys in specific locations, um, I don't want to do those just yet before we have a little bit more control over what we're doing. Um, maybe we should try and look at the the hammer solid rocket booster. And for this, oh, we need to be at a certain altitude as well with a certain velocity range. So that's going to be a bit more difficult. Maybe we're just gonna pick up the one saying escaping the atmosphere, then going for a uh, for a launch, and hopefully the velocity will fit when we can get back uh, down again. So let's try that. So escaping the atmosphere and testing the parachute on its way down. So let's see if we can build something that uh, that can escape the atmosphere. Um, we're gonna need a capsule, we're gonna need a parachute of course, because that's the one we need to test. Um, we are going outside the atmosphere, we cannot do EVAs yet, we haven't upgraded the atmosphere center. Um, so maybe we should put on a few few more of these and we're gonna need some science experiments, we're gonna need a oh ah, what's the, there we go. We're gonna need a single goo container and a lab with a stacking decoupler. And underneath the stacking decoupler, we're probably gonna need oh no, a couple of fuel tanks with that engine, another stacking decoupler, and a solid rocket booster. Maybe some fins. I don't know if we're gonna be able to escape the atmosphere with this, but uh, at least I hope that we can get um, the right altitude for the, for the test of the parachute. So let's try and launch it. I mean, we don't have to go into orbit, we just have to get just above the atmosphere. Who are we flying with? The Jebediah. So we have SAS. Nice. Probably gonna need this on this one. That is not that much much acceleration <laughs> as I was hoping. We're not going to be able to escape any kind of atmosphere in there with this setup. Okay, maybe we can still salvage this. So, uh, where is it? There we go. I'm just going to keep uh, type warping. Okay, we're not going to get any higher than this. 
observe goo, have we observed it here? Okay, there's nothing new here, but let's just uh, get the signs that we can and a crew report. Why is this stuck? Oh, because we haven't... Uh, I see. There we go. <laughs> okay, so we need to go down to 300 meters and we need to slow down quite a bit. We need to deploy that. Come on. Yes, there we go. So I needed to deploy that one parachute simply because we were flying or we were falling too fast so I had to deploy it to slow us down so we got down in the correct velocity range to um, to complete that contract. So for now it's just a simple splashdown and uh, yeah 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 I know we should be careful with large uh, time accelerations because of the numerical instabilities that you get and and there we have it. Parachutes out. Okay, this is gonna take some time apparently to get down. So um <laughs> you guys can join me once I'm back at the space center. Okay, and we're back. We successfully splashed splashed down. Um and we did complete uh that one contract. We still need to escape the atmosphere and Test the static decoupler while landed. Test the heat shield in flight over Kerbin. Mm. <laughs> Orbit. Test the hammer. Yeah. We can do that. To perform the test, activate the part with the staging sequence. When all test conditions. So we need to be flying. That's the difficult part here. That's the same with the... Uh, oh no, there, we'll look at that before. Anyway. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We need some more money. Test the heat shield and flying over Kerbin. That's quite a decent profit. Oh, they're all very high altitude. I think what I need to do now is I need to go into the research center and we need something that will enable us to fly a bit higher. Um, that should do it. <laughs> How much is this? 20 points. Okay, we definitely need that one. What do we have here? Radial decouplers, winglets and aerodynamic nose cones. Mm, not that important just yet. Battery packs, more science, Commutatrons, struts, we're definitely gonna need struts soon. We're already getting the larger parts. Uh, well, a bigger fuel tank would be nice as well. I think we're gonna. Oh, we don't have points for that. Uh, so let's just take this nose cone, probably. Be a, be a good investment. Okay, so now that we know we can get to a certain altitude, let's try... Okay, so the hammer solid rocket booster. We should test that f at a very high altitude. Mm. Another very specific... Okay, so in order to... Re to uh, let's take this. We can do this. Can I have? Yeah, I have room for one more contract. So to do this, um, as you can see, because we need to be at a specific altitude and at a specific speed, when we activate this solid rocket booster, what I'm thinking is um, that let's just uh, go we can reuse quite a bit of this. Everything apart from. No, actually, let's reuse that as well. And take off the fins. So that's the hammer that we need to um, that we need to test at the certain altitude. But as we saw before, it was not really able to get to that altitude. 
So, um, what I suggest we do is we just strap. You know what? Actually, we're gonna redo some of this because my idea is if I put this here and then the decoupler and move that a bit and then this this should allow me to use this engine to control both my altitude and my speed so I don't go too fast and once I'm up there I'll just ditch it and I'll activate that booster and then it should be able to boost me the last part in the above the atmosphere above the seven kilometer mark um, I hope I just need something to get me up there to start with and that's where these huge things come in strap those around it and put an aerodynamic nose cone on top like that so let's just take the staging fire that and no that's wrong then once they are gone we will fire that engine and then we need a staging here okay uh, unable to launch okay so it's too heavy so we might have to do with just two of these It is still too heavy. What do we do? What do we do? What do we do? Can we uh, can we upgrade? Oh, what? Nah, don't save it. That's okay. So 75 to upgrade it, and that allows us to build stuff up to 140 tons. I think that's a good investment for now. That should allow us to launch this. Yeah. Okay. We're still using Jebediah because we need that control at the moment. So. They're not as powerful as I uh, as I would have thought they would be. So let's open up the contracts again. Here it is. Kerbin. Oi, a bit of wobbling. Escape the atmosphere to Kerbin. You can need to Oi. Shit, I have no fans. Okay. We have to revert that. That didn't work. <laughs> I have no fins on this. Let's put two fins on. Actually, let's put four fins and put them at an angle. Like that. That looks good. Yeah. Let's try that again. That makes sense. Okay, again, just getting away from the space center to avoid destroying anything. And oh, that's the breeze over there. Need to go and clean that up. Little bit on the 
fast side, I think. I want to keep it at around 5, 7. Since there's a square in the middle. In our velocity range. Oh. Slow down, slow down. We are almost at the right altitude. Just 8 more kilometers. See that switch to orbit? We're switching back to surface. And contract completed. Nice. So let's just keep on flying. We need to escape the atmosphere. Which. Oh, this is actually going a little bit faster than I expected. Okay. Let's get rid of that. Not too bad. We observe the materials bay and all the other stuff. Crew report, yes. Crew report. Oh, okay. I just didn't get the... There we go. And then it's just all about going up and down again. And hopefully the heat shield is... Uh, oh, don't go too fast here. So point the ship retrograde at the retrograde vector. There we go. And keep falling, 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 falling until we hit the atmosphere. Really hope the heat shield's gonna gonna hold up and that this is stable because what I really don't want to happen is that the spacecraft is, is uh, flipping around so it's going nose first, that would be really bad, so I'm trying to keep it as close to the retrograde vector. Oh, what is heating up? Oh, is that the goo container? That's the goo container. Yeah, we lost the goo container. But it seems... Okay. You know what? Uh, deploy shoot. Remove SAS, so we can use the shoot to slow us down. And just time warp. Like the other shoots. And now it should just be... An and again, we're falling very slowly, so I'm probably gonna edit this out so you can just join me once I'm back at the space center. Okay, here we are. We are back at, uh, at the space center, and we got ourselves some uh, some more science. Um, but I think that's gonna be it for this time. I hope you guys will uh, join me in the next episode. Um, this has been Down to Earth Astronomy, and until next time, have a good one.